वेलकम व्यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट डेमी अ प्रोजेक्ट कंट्रोल एंड इंजीनियरिंग सॉफ्टवेयर अकेडमी आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट हाउ कैन आई क्रिएट एन एस कर्व फॉर प्लान वर्सेज एक्चुअल इन एक्सल सो टू मोनिटर अ प्रोजेक्ट यू नीड मस्ट एन एस कर्व दैट शुड रिप्रेजेंट योर ऑल डेटा इन एक्सल सो आई विल गो टू माई प्रोजेक्ट and i will show you everything each and everything so here we go we will open a project and that project have already labor resource assigned i will open resource assignment you can see already assigned resources here if you have any material resource assigned you can go here and create a filter like filter like resource type here resource type you will go below resource type is not equal to material if you have any as resource assigned with the name of material so all the resources will be just filtered here so only the man hours having a labor will be displayed so the resource id name has been shown here and no non labor resource have been assigned i can go here in the resource tab you can see only one resource has been assigned in the current project resource you can see only man hour so we don't need to go in detail we have one resource assigned to the project and here we have details of the project from august to the august you can see here the project is finishing on next of august we can also go here in the activity we can see the start and finish of this project start is 1st august to 16 august 2023 so this project is for one year duration of time so here we will go in the excel i have created a template for that one easily template we will not go in detail how create this template so i have just created that template i have just colored assigned the logo assigned the title and everything i have assigned already so this already format have been created also for the date of the project i have already just uh, edited the date that is finish date we can assign here monthly monthly finish and that one is also monthly start monthly start okay so monthly finish dates this one monthly start date this one so i have just created and assigned a uh, an additional month so our project is starting from august and finishing on this one august 2023 so i have just additionally add one or two column so we will go for one and two month above and behind here we have a project and we can take the data by two methods one method we can just go here and we will just see this one control a control c and we will go here in the sheet and we can paste here we can get the values from here one method is this one what is the other method i will show you the other method method also i will go here in the tools in report wizard i will go here in new report time distributed data go for wbs columns here we will add here a column if we need a column here or not it's your choice but we will add a column here budgeted labor baseline project labor units okay group and sort by i will just remove to level 1 apply okay then we will go for next and we will go only the total here time scale we need in the month and also time interval fields i need two columns the one column i need is baseline cumulative labor units the other one column i need is baseline project labor units one cumulative one without cumulative then go for next next we will run report we need that report in excel so i will press okay yes so here we have another wbs report you will see here all the values are same as it is we have created here can you see this one a total one here written as uh you can see here 1.0 million here if you total here if you total this one here 
and you see 1.06148. So this is the same. You can get this one from this method and also from this method also. Both the method are same. I will just go here, copy this one, and I will paste in the the. I will unhide there are the rows here between that five and six. So I will unhide. There are two rows. One is original plant cost. I will change that one to original plant. You can also create that one for the cost also. This curve can be used for the cost also and for labor units also. So quarterly I will change it to monthly because that curve was created before. For quarterly you can create for quarterly, monthly or for anything also. I will change from here. Unit also. Okay. So I will put the values here. I have seen the values from 1st of August and from start I will see here the start and I will paste that values from here and we will just go here and just make the values simple and now I will create or assign a formula here is equal to this one plus this one so this one we just cumulative all values and to the end you can see all the values now have been cumulative now here we will type a zero here and now can you see this curve have been drawn can you see before that one there was no curve can you see the curve have been drawn so what will we do i will apply a formula the formula is that one the first column here will be divided by the last one we will add a dollar sign here and we will just copy that formula and paste whole all the values i have copied that formula and paste to the till the end and what is the next accumulative plan progress percent formula is equal to this one and now i will add the previous one with that one you can you see this one cross one added here and now we will drag to the end when we drag to the end it will be 100% can you see the curve this one is the planned curve have been created now so the work have been started from october to november so that one will be finishing on november you can see below that one if you don't need any uh, if you don't need any finish date so you can go here and you can just go here and remove or delete that one so only the monthly finish date will be appearing here so monthly finish date or monthly start date you can show from here also you can change from the value here you can just go and drag one month ab ab above also you can change just the name from here and finish and just delete this one this is also the same one so only the month will be appearing here in the curve and in the below on the bottom of the curve not start and finish don't need in monthly progress report if the next month progress is 4% and you will just go here in the copy this formula and paste this one so this formula accumulative from the previous one here you can see this one the curve has been started now you can just drag this one value some editing you need while you updating this one for the formatting you can just go here right click this one also you can change the color any color of the text here if you select all this all these values you can change all these values color here if you select this one all values color you can change all the values color in one time also so it's your choice you can make some editing also if you can change this one uh, bar colors select this one format and you can change the bar colors from here also so this is your choice you can change everything from this this format so this is how to create your planned and versus actual curve s curve in excel from primavera p6 data so how will you know about your earned per percent how will you know from your earned per percent so this is very easy to know that while you schedule this one you will get a performance percent complete here when you add here a column while you monitoring this one so you will get here a performance percent complete also schedule percent complete will be equal to planned and also if you don't want to if you don't want the percent from primavera p6 you can also monitor by adding a new columns here for example what i will do i will just add here and hide this one and i will add here some new columns here 
there are two column new column here i will just copy this data from here and now and paste this one here and now i will add here earned unit earned earned unit monthly earned unit accumulative okay and now i will just delete this one and the same formula from here copy this one and i will paste the formula from here so this formula from bottom we will use it from here this one divided by at the end of this value end of this value this month and with the dollar sign with the dollar sign here and now copy and now paste also is equal to sum of this whole value okay so it will be there the sum of the whole value also this formula will be same copy here so you need to add just a value here for example is equal to this one this one i will add here 1050 units here and i will add here 1050 units so you will see here something added here like percent so for earned value you just need here don't need a sum here i have just put it wrong i will just go here is equal to this one is equal to the same this one so here you will see the some percent have been added here 0.10% if you have a value like uh, 7 8 if so you have something like that one 0.78 so this will be added like this one so you can add here this one by manually also can you see this one also so this one you can add here and value manually and also you can add here percent before that one i have just added there a percent so this is today's content how can you create plan versus actual s curve in excel keep watching softy demi if you need any help you can contact us on our whatsapp number also visit on our site www.softydemi.com keep watching softy demi we will meet in the next video thanks